What I'm about to demonstrate is a versatile enclosed filtration cartridge based sample preparation technique that's scalable for dealing with large volume samples of liters or down to microliter samples and it is adaptable for a, a wide, wide variety of applications which you'll get the idea of in a few moments. At the heart of our system is this little filter cartridge. It's had some pink fluid flow through it so that it will color the membrane that's inside and the device consists of an inlet port that leads to an inlet chamber through which the fluid then flows over a porous membrane that's housed inside in the middle of the cartridge and then the fluid passes out the uh, through the exit port on the back side of the cartridge. In our actual application which I'm going to demonstrate we have this uh, device in, uh, in a form which has got protective sheaths on it. And the other element that's uh, central to this technology is a suction tool which is going to hold the filtration apparatus and the suction tool has got within it uh, lines for vacuum uh, being applied to uh, draw the fluid through the filter cartridge and the vacuum can come from a pump uh, peristaltic pump is what we're using in this case. It can be a lav supply or a, a tank. Uh, it could even be a syringe or, or a hand pump. And the way that the system works, in this uh, case we've got it set up for doing a, a microbial sample preparation, is that the guard comes off of the end here and this goes into our suction tool. The filter snaps into place. And then I'm going to take off this protective guard exposing my extension tube here as an inlet which I'm going to put into a, in this case we've got a 100 cc vial of colored water that's serving to simulate um, a water sample uh, test and that would have bacteria in it. Um, and I'll show you how we put the filter cartridge in it draws the fluid up you can see that the green liquid is now entered into the filter cartridge and I'm going to allow the filtering to go on and while that's as you can see the fluid passing out of the line um, this process for filtration uh, separation can be one utilized for either cells or capturing bacteria um, harvesting concentrating microparticles or dealing with any kind of an insoluble reaction product precipitate for instance uh, that you want to analyze um, after it's been concentrated in the cartridge and I've intentionally drawn the filter out of the fluid and I'm not going to put it back in to show you that I can reestablish flow and I can do this at will I have no problem going back uh, and forth from air to the liquid you cannot do that with a conventional syringe filter which I will show you in a moment. Um, I'm going to show here is another example with an extension tube on like this if we had uh, a fluid for instance in a culture flask and we can reach down into the culture flask and pull up the sample fluid and you can see right there how the, the red rushed right into the to the sample and it quickly filters this uh, this fluid so that process is done now, if we were dealing with some application where you had, say, a variety of reagents that you wanted to deal with um, and expose sequentially, uh, let's call this a rinse, for instance, after we've collected and harvested some cells. So I, I can remove that particular tube and I'm now exposed to clean, uh, at least a shorter tube and more uh, useful for manipulation. To say this was a rinse fluid. I can go in, capture the rinse, take air, can do this a couple of times even, and get a very thorough rinsing of the, of the cartridge. And you can see on the back side of it, there's just a green color um, of the filtered material. That's on the exit side. As I mentioned, the process we can use with these various tubes and attachments, we can reach down into, this is a, a small microfuge tube, and I can reach in there and pull out the sample or let's say that this was now ready for bacterial culture and then I want to do an assay with it. I have some culture media. I've got an ampule here and I can go in and 
fill this cartridge up with media and if I show you the back side of it it's still got the green from the original uh, we'll call it rinse in this case and I can pull my media through and it purges out all of the uh, previous sample material that was within the cartridge the front side of the cartridge is now left uh, voided and, uh, with air and in this particular configuration it's uh, analogous to a membrane filter cartridge I'll take off this tube here and I can pop this off and I've got a sample that's now ready to go into an assay. I can plug up this end here and then fluid will not drip out of this of this cartridge and the back side is uh, filled with uh, with that last fluid that we added now I was going to demonstrate the fact that what you cannot do uh, in fact put this one back on to our our suction tool and if I take conventional syringe filter an inline filter which uh, where we are like but not like in this particular respect uh, from the standpoint of this will airlock being that the syringe filter is enclosed once and I'll show you how it pulls up the fluid we're drawing fluid through our tool fluids pass through both filters and this filter is now filled with fluid but when we get to this point the air can't move through that filter element so it stops and if I try and draw up fluid again I don't get anything it's not it's not working it's locked up and yet if I take this off you'll see how my special filter device and my tool is going to allow me to just pull fluid right up and I can suck it right through and so that is how the cartridge uh, is designed to work and I mentioned that it is scalable for various applications in a research laboratory or a, uh, an industrial application or for field work. Uh, this technology is implemented into a, a larger cartridge shown here of uh, 25 millimeter or design and it can be uh, incorporated into this is a classic microbial filter of 47 millimeters and also as well into a device such as this which would be uh, also working on the same design as the is this little cartridge I was showing. So that is uh, the demonstration of filterability. I next want to demonstrate, and I'll use a little filter here, um, how you could use this device uh, to uh, recover cells and do an analysis on the cells that you express back out of the cartridge. So I'm going to pour some fluid right on the countertop here and let's say you were doing a HACCP analysis for uh, microbial contaminants on a surface that you are using the solution to uh, serve as a rinse and get them off the surface and you can harvest directly into your filter um, as you can see right now I'm filtering fluid out of there and there's air being sucked up and back to the fluid and I can go through here uh, and pick up my whole sample and any of the bacteria that are in it and that's a pretty interesting application that you can't do in uh, with any other kind of tool that we're aware of. Now let's say when we've got the whole thing aspirated into our sample we want to get these bacteria out. And I've sucked all of the the uh, fluid through there. I have a little bit of fluid left in the back side of my cartridge. I'm going to take this off and in order to elute what's in there I'll take and I'm going to put a syringe on the end of the cartridge and holding this over uh, a little microfiche tube I'll just go ahead and express fluid through you can see how all of the green color that was from my my sample uh, for show purposes I have eluded it out of the cartridge and through backflow expressed it into my microfiche tube and then that can go off to assay or 
analysis and doing whatever with uh, is necessary. And that would be the same uh, for some reactants or other kind of uh, particulate that's captured on the filter for a backflow operation. Now I want to demonstrate a situation in which, um, let's say we're going to prepare a sample of cells uh, through an extract uh, with reaction buffer uh, for PCR reaction. So I put my filter into the suction tool and let's see, these are our, our cells in this sample and I'm just showing, shown before how I can go in and out of the sample to pick up the uh, and capture the particulate and now uh, at this point I've got a uh, need for rinse here um, to remove any of the residual fluid from the initial preparation I've done my rinse and with the filter cleared at this point then I will take and uh, I'm going to pull in my reaction fluid uh, I can control the flow of uh, this reaction fluid through the some uh, actuator up here and when I've got my material in there as I want it at this point I'm going to take off and I will just leave this uh, for a time let's say it had to go into an incubator and run at an elevated temperature for a while to uh, finish an incubation process and when I'm ready to then collect my sample I can take a microfiche tube and I'll put my cartridge into it and using an air filled syringe I'll attach that onto the end and with some pressure I can collect my sample and as you'll see here and there's my filter um, and I've got it removed of the uh, fluid and our procedure is done and that is all of the steps that are required to actually prepare a fluid extract thank you very much